Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am about to make over this roughly cut pumpkin that I made um, a couple years ago and it no longer matches my decor and something got on it. Um, so I'm gonna redo it. So I've got my Paint Pixie Marshmallow and I'm just gonna start by getting some of that all over this whole pumpkin here. I have my Paint Pixie Dream Brush. This is a number eight. A really, really great brush for crafting. It has a nice oval brush, and so it gets in all the little crevices. Really nice. So I'll get a probably two full coats of this marshmallow on. And then I'm thinking about adding some of my own papers that I made. Um, just in some updated colors for what I'm decorating in this year. So I've got a bunch of Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paints in front of me, and I think I'm going to use, let me grab this one, the Iris Pro Wash. This is the one inch from the Turquoise Iris Collection, and I'm just going to, I don't know, play. I'm just going to blend and play and see what happens here. So it's Honeycomb. This is Candied Papaya. I think red velvet cake, but I, I don't know. Let me do a little candy apple. And I'll do a little red velvet cake. I don't want it the, I want to start with that. And I'm just going to get some color on here and see where it, where it goes from here. Add a little marshmallow too, just in case. I am actually just gonna squirt this a little bit with water just to get it flowing a little bit more.
What I love about the Paint Pixie paint is that it is highly pigmented. It has acrylic in it as well as the calcium carbonate. And a little really does go a long way. It blends really nicely. And I like that because it has the calcium carbonate in it, if you um, squirt water in there uh, to get it moving, so you saw me just squirt it right on to my little pumpkin shape here, um, the pigmentation does not dull. You really have to put a lot of water on and create more of a wash in order for the pigmentation to um, fade. But other, I mean, look at those, those colors are amazing. There, as always, will be a link to where you can buy the uh, Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint in the comments. And when you get yours, I want to know what you think. It's a really, really beautiful paint. This is just gorgeous. Let's see, I love how it, um, it's kind of gripping onto a little bit of the texture of the wood here. That looks cool. All right, I just put a little dot of the chocolate souffle on the stem, which looks very nice. All right, so this is dry. Um, if it doesn't dry super fast for you, just put your heat gun or hair dryer on it. It'll dry really, really quick. I am grabbing my short stop brush and I am dunking it into, where is the label here? Meltdown. This is one of Paint Pixie's top coats, but I love it a lot for crafts because it has a wax-like finish and it's so beautiful. I love a wax-like finish. But if I were to use wax itself on this, I wouldn't be able to go any further. I wouldn't be able to put transfers on. Um, you know, whatever else I want to do, wax is a resist, right? So you can't put anything on top of it. So that's what I really love about the Meltdown is it still gives that really beautiful finish without the wax. That's awesome. <laughs> and I also will have now like a little bit of a tooth if I want to. I think I'm going to put transfers on. right after this so look at how pretty this is it's pretty just like this i think 
What do you think? Make sure you tell me in the comments below. Talk to me below and let me know what you think because this is so much fun. All right, so I'm kind of thinking about keeping this pretty plain. Um, I'm taking my black archival ink. It's um, Distress Archival Ink. I'll put a link for it in the comments. Um, and I like this little baby, um, this, the little baby kind, the mini pad, because you don't really need an applicator for things like this. So I'm just kind of going around the edges. And I'm gonna do all edges, including the stem. And it just will give it a little bit of dimension. Let's see if I can't get in here somehow. Just like that, super easy. And then I have this really, really beautiful set. You're probably getting a glare. Let me take it out of here. This is the Spring Luna Moth set. Um, when you go to my website, janebelanteart.com, and then go to shop, go to um, Moth and Myth, and you'll find these there. These are specimen butterflies or these are moths actually there's a whole bunch of butterflies on my site but what i love about them is not only are they super pretty but you can move their wings and sculpt them so any which way that you want they're double-sided and this one i thought was just really really pretty with this so i thought maybe i would just put it on like that. Let me stand up and take a look at this. Maybe, maybe like that you could do. A, I'm just gonna be gluing it so you can really put it wherever you want. Something like that. That I love. Do you love that? I love that. I am just going to use my Eileen's Tacky Glue. You can use hot glue. You can use really whatever glue you have. I just This is just right here <laughs> within reach. Kind of like that wing kind of flapping down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take a little brush And just really lightly wipe away the glue because I put a little bit too much. That's all I'm gonna do. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could have, you know, I could have gone a lot of different ways with this. I could have put paper on it, transfers. But I think once I put the um, magical chalk paint down and started blending it, I really just like how it looks. And so I wanted to keep it pretty clean. So I love that. I love it with the moth on it. I hope you love it too. Make sure you visit me at janebelanteart.com. Uh, if you want to buy some really fun art supplies, hit the shop. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.